Mikel Hi. Um, <laughs> what, what can you learn from having played Southampton so recently? I think both teams will learn. Uh, obviously, I don't think that any manager or players like to play the same opponent twice. Uh, obviously, we will take things from from today's game that we'll analyze and we have already talked about them and try to make them better in the, in the next game. And the one that I really want to change is the result because I want to win the game. So you were uh, you were without Aubameyang um, and although you say you don't quite know how long he might be unavailable, uh, if he was out for a, for a while, would, would that be a problem for you? Of course, it will be a problem because he's our top striker and uh, and the one who is to score more goals and he's our captain, a really important player in the team. But um, we have to respect the time. Let's see again, Ian. I don't have enough information right now to see how things are evolving and and hopefully things will go in the right direction. Gabriel Martinelli started the VFA Cup match. He played for what an, an hour. Did, did he come off because he was feeling something or or not? And and how big a, how big a role do you see for him in, in the second half of the season? No, he was fine. It was a, a tactical decision and uh, and he's fine. Obviously he's missed again a few training sessions with the last uh, injury, but um, yeah, I expect big things from Gabby. He's been really helpful since uh, since he's joined uh, again after such a long period, so I'm really positive. And I noticed Matt Ryan on the bench in the FA Cup match. Uh, it's the kind of first opportunity we've had to, to talk to you since he signed um, on loan from, from Brighton. What, what, what do you like about him? How, how do you see him fitting in? Well, he's a player that uh, knows the league really well. He's played uh, so many games. He's got international experience. He's at the right age. He's been competing uh, regularly till December, I think. And uh, we felt that... Uh, with the departure of Matt Macy, we needed uh, another keeper in the team to be more protective. So um, we looked at the market. Obviously, we wanted a long deal, and uh, and we decided to go with Matt because he had the, the right profile for us. And what does his arrival mean for for Runison? Is 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 he perhaps going to leave, or or do you see him um, as as staying? That Terrier squad needs uh, three goalkeepers and they have to compete with each other, they have to challenge each other and um, and everybody would get his role and after you get the role you have just to support um, each other again to get the, the best out of, of all of them and um, this is the role. Come here and try to make us better. Thanks, Ian. Uh, Wish you well. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. James. Hello, Miguel. Can you hear me? Um, the way things have turned around in the Premier League compared to, say, a month ago, how much confidence does that give you in your methods that they're working? Well, winning games is all the time the best uh, way to reinforce what you are doing. But um, in this game, it's very dangerous just to focus on that. We are completely uh, sure of where we want to go, how we want to do it, and then um, within the, the time and the experiences that we are having with our players, we can just manipulate, evolve, and change uh, little things to try to get where we want quicker. So at the moment, I'm really optimistic. And uh, just on the, the Southampton game, how much did their pressing today impress you? You imagine they'll try to do exactly the same thing in the Premier League? You no, know, they are one of the most uh, effective teams doing the, that, like we are. And uh, man, it was a really intense uh, game, and uh, we were expecting that for sure, and we're expecting that on Tuesday because they don't really change, and they are a really great team, really good manager. They know exactly what they're doing. They've been doing it for years now, and um, and they are good at it. So we expect a, a similar game on Tuesday. Thanks, Mikael. Thank you. Five minutes standard. Hi, Mikael. Hello. Um, I was just going to ask you, Mikel, obviously we've seen in the transfer market now, not just with yourself, but other clubs, a lot more loan deals, money has gone down a lot because of COVID. How long do you think this could last? I mean, do you think this might be the norm for a few transfer windows where clubs aren't spending those huge sums as before? I don't have a clue. I think it would depend on how the virus uh, 
allowed uh, our life to get back to more normality, to start to have some crowd in our stadium, the sponsors to be back on track. I don't know, there are so many things that um, at the moment I can't, I cannot influence and I cannot respond to. I mean, if it, if it was to come down the spending, would that not necessarily be a bad thing? We've seen fees and wages have been astronomical in the past. If football was to have a bit of a reality check, is that not necessarily a bad thing? Well, football at the end has to be sustainable. So in relation to the resources that we, you have, uh, you can invest your money um, the way you want to. And uh, there are regulators to make sure that that happens. And um, Google had uh, a lot of money because it was producing a lot of money. And uh, let's see where this virus takes uh, the game. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. And just one before we split, um, Jack Hart from Stack Perform. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to ask another question on Matt Ryan. Uh, do you see this becoming a permanent transfer in the summer if the loan deal goes well? I don't know. He just arrived. Uh, at the moment, it's a loan deal. He still has a contract with um, Brighton, and uh, we will assess it, see how he performs, how he adapts, what we need in the future. It's still too early to, to decide. Thank you.